Hi, everybody. All right, I want to apologize to my photosensitive and epileptic viewers who I may have just sent into a seizure. In the last video, we finished epoxying up the gear leg transition pieces. Uh, basically, those are the ones that attach and hold the gear legs in place to the fuselage and the wheel pants. Uh, you add a nice layer of flock step epoxy to the feet of them and sort of snug them in the place where they're going to live and let that epoxy harden so that now they have a nice perfectly flush fit. Once that's done, we're happy. Uh, we're here and we're putting nut plates onto the wheel pants. The fuselage already had nut plates, the wheel pants did not. So once those are done, then we can reassemble all of it. So that's the gist of what we got going on today. And for those that do you that haven't seen me put on nut plates before, go back and view any of the one of the 800 videos where I was doing it. All right, so update. Planes done. We're at 100%. Um, on the side, because because finishing up a plane wasn't hard enough, my wife and I decided to sell our house in Florida and buy a house here in Alameda, California. Because life what life wasn't difficult enough anyway. The decision was made, you know, let's not fly the plane until after we're done closing on the house. And I thought, you know what, that's a brilliant idea. I mean, no one wants to discuss why. It's sort of the unsaid thing of, look, just to be safe. Not that you haven't built a beautiful plane and that, that it's not going to be gorgeous and perfect and et cetera, et cetera. But just in case you wind up being a grease mark on the runway, let's just sign the house first. And we've done that. So... Now it's just a matter of waiting for the right uh, afternoon. So that will be soon. With that being said, uh, we only got a couple of videos left here, and this is including one of them. So, But yeah, that's, that is the state. Everything is signed off. She's literally sitting in the hangar begging for me to get in and fly her away, and that will be soon, I promise. Okay, so now that we're done putting the nut plates on, we're just finishing up... <clears throat> prepping the areas around the feet. What you can't see is that I'm putting on some foam, uh, basically a foam wrap sealer around the gear leg and the brake line to buffer any movement around from uh, from the uh, gear leg and the intersection. So we're doing that now. Here you can also see me. I'm applying what is known as UHFW tape. That is a high tensile frictionless tape. It's basically high really it's thin tape but it's very strong and the idea behind it is your as your legs are moving around the gear fairing intersections are clecoed or screwed in I should say to the respective sides so the gear leg floats in between them and when it floats you want it to move frictionlessly and that's what this tape does And once we're done putting that on, we also put a foam strip along the top to sort of seal the top side in, which is good. Well, I say the top side, I mean the top inter uh, intersection fairing. Uh, I don't think we do that in this video. You might see it in the next one. All right. In the next video, we're going to finish up the very last uh, video of the cowl, and we're going to be installing the carpet. So thank you for joining me, everyone. I'll see you soon.